to talk to you guys about our money. So, have you ever voted? For those of you who have, do you feel like your vote mattered? Maybe, maybe not. I was raised by my mom, and she taught me some very important things about voting and money. Every time I wanted to stop at fast food, Chick-fil-A Jimmy John's are pretty good choices. I never understood why we wouldn't stop there. And when I finally was like, Mom, what the heck? She explained to me that we vote with our dollars. Who knows what that means as a little kid, but looking back, I can understand what she meant. These businesses, she didn't want to support because Chick-fil-A supports um, uh, bills and laws that go against same-sex marriage. And Jimmy John's, the CEO, is a big game hunter. If you don't know what that means, he goes to places like Africa, and he hunts elephants and rhinos. Um, she doesn't want to give her money to people like that, so she votes with her dollars. Every time you vote, it doesn't exactly have a direct impact on the outcome. Just because my mom doesn't give Jimmy John's money doesn't mean the CEO is going to stop hunting. But you got to think about where your money's going. That's the important thing. I'm sure many of you have seen this um, graphic, but for those of you who haven't, it basically shows how 10 companies control everything we buy for food and drink. If you'll notice, the bottom left side is pretty much entirely Nestle, which might be scary or not, but it's actually very scary. Um, this company that supplies us with so much is kind of evil, honestly. If you want to read through this, um, basically they get their cocoa beans from plantations that use child slavery. And they went to court for it, and they won. And that was in 2021. So they're still practicing this. So the company that brings us so much um, uses child slavery, and no one should support that, honestly. So think about where your money's going there. Um, the next thing I want to teach you guys about is lobbying. For those of you who don't know, it basically means that anyone outside the government can support laws and bills being passed through money. And it's not much more than that. This graphic might seem simple, but it's pretty much correct. I mean, it, lobbying at its core isn't supposed to be something evil, but if you think about it, big businesses can donate way more than any other entity can. So if someone donating $5 for a bill to get passed means nothing to Walmart or Nestle supporting laws that uh, you can't even imagine. With money, you can't even imagine. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I want to show you guys this video. Hopefully, you have an image in your mind of how businesses operate. And this should help. Uh oh. How do I make it go to my screen? private tax-exempt organization called the American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC, has brought state lawmakers, conservative think tanks, and corporate interests together to write model legislation to be introduced and passed in state houses across the country. It's basically a conservative bill mill, which has helped develop model legislation from Arizona's notorious SB 1070 immigration bill uh, to bills expanding private prisons, payday loan companies, and for-profit colleges, all of which we've talked about on this very show. In fact, I'm going to list Alec in the credits for... All right, now you make some jokes. Basically, Alec is a giant organization that takes in a lot of... Uh, um, <coughs> it's got a lot of companies involved. Oh, man. And let me get to my slide first. Okay, so a few major companies that support Alec, or are part of Alec, ExxonMobil, Pfizer, AT&T, blah, 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 Walmart. Huge, giant companies with tons and tons of money. So any company or special interest involved in ALEC is heavily supported and funded. One such company is the CCA, the Corrections Corporation of America. They are the business that makes money off of prisons being used. 
they having an effect on laws being passed is just as scary as it sounds. They want people in prison and they will pass laws to get people in prison. And they have. Uh, it's as simple as that. So imagine Jimmy John's now. If they so wanted, being a part of Alec, getting a law passed that made it legal to big game hunt. There'd be nothing stopping them. Even my mom, not spending money at Jimmy John's, wouldn't be able to stop them from doing things like that. If everything was too confusing or you really don't care, whatever. I'm really just trying to tell you to think about where your money goes. I'm not saying that if you go to Jimmy John's, you're supporting big game hunting, whatever, but just think about it. Um, as we all know, money is power, and every time you spend your money, you're giving a little bit of your power away. So, that's my call to action. Just think about where your money's going. Thank you.